In this ukulele tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play the D major scale, but we're going to play it in a style called Campanella. It's going to sound like this. Campanella style means that you're going to play each note, consecutive notes, on different strings. So you'll never have two notes back to back on the same string. Because normally when you play the D major scale, you play like this, right? D, third string, second fret, E, on the third string, right? And then these three notes, F sharp, G, and A would be on the second string. And then B, C sharp, and D on the first string. But when we play it Campanella, it's gonna sound like this. E, F, And it's really cool, it sounds like um, bells are, are ringing because each note is ringing out on top of each other. And we'll talk about that in a second. So, but let's just jump into it. The D note's gonna be here on the third string, second fret. And I'm gonna use my thumb with my right hand to play that one. And then I'm gonna play E on the second string open. And I'm gonna use my index finger. So we got D and E. Then I'm gonna go back to the third string. I'm gonna play F sharp. I'm gonna use my pinky here on the sixth fret. I'm gonna go back to my thumb of my right hand. I'm gonna hold that as I play the next note, G, on the second string, third fret with my first finger, and then I'm gonna hit my index with that. And then open, first string, and I'm gonna use my middle finger to hit that one, that's your A note. So this is your first five notes. You got D, E, F sharp, G, and A. Then what's gonna happen is my pinky is gonna to go to the second string, seventh fret, that's B. I'm gonna use my thumb for this one. Then I'm gonna play C sharp on the first string, fourth fret. And I'm gonna use my middle finger here to hit that one. And then I'm gonna reach up here for the last note, which is D on the second string, 10th fret, and I'm gonna use my thumb for that one. So that's the one octave D major scale. And let's do that nice and slow, ready and. And you want to, again, try to get those notes to ring out as much as possible, even though you have a long stretch. So I could do a better job holding that C sharp. Let's do it again. Ready and. Now you want to also go back. Now, when you're going back, you don't hit the D note here twice. You just hit it once and then you go back and it's going to be exactly the same going back. So you got C sharp and I'm using my my uh, middle finger here to pluck it, then to the B note on the second string, seventh fret, with my thumb. Then I'll play open, first string, that's A, and I'm gonna use my middle finger to the G, second string, third fret, I'm gonna use my index, to the F sharp with my pinky here on the third string, sixth fret, that's my thumb. Then I'm gonna play open E with my index finger, and then back to the D and I'm gonna hit it with my thumb. All right, so let's go back down. Let's, let's actually hit this D with the thumb, but normally you wouldn't, but for now we will. Ready, and. So now let's go ascending and descending, nonstop. Ready, and. All right, so now it sounds cool when you speed it up a little bit, but you wanna practice it slow, get it down. I know some of these fingerings are stretched, but then as you get it faster and those notes ring out on top of each other, it sounds really cool. All right, so let's play it a little faster. Ready and. One more time, ready and. Can we even do it a little faster? Two, ready and. And that's how you play your D major scale Campanella style.